Hello and welcome to another Wargame Red Dragon video with me Bubblebox and today we're on Gunboat Diplomacy, a 3v3, me, Silver Raptor and V-Turkin. This is part of the Bubble and Silver Do Decks series where we're playing the decks we built in the uh, the Russian decks that we built or the Soviet decks should I say that we built in the deck building series. We were both going to be playing our uh, generalized deck we made first of all but um, I managed to choose the wrong one, of course. So I've got my slightly more specialised tanky type deck. Uh, but uh, Silver Raptor, who's going to he be heading up towards Alpha, and he's going to be trying to push Alpha, has got his generalised deck. He's got his uh, Spetsnaz Grues in his re in his chopper here, um, Recon, and he's got his Mi-24V with a Ka-52 heading up first. And some infantry, he's going to try and get this building up here, although they are swarming him a little bit in Alpha. He's got a T-62 and some more infantry at the back there. Meanwhile, I, I'm just going to slow it down just while I'm showing you what's going to be going on the battlefield. I'm heading over towards Echo with my unit, some infantry, which I'm going to try and plonk in the buildings over here. I've got a K-52 and my Akula. Um, and V-Turkin is going to be heading up to try and take these buildings in the middle here. He's got some anti-air choppers and a recon and uh, looks like some infantry in an MI8 and he's bringing up an actual T90S actually and he's taking golf as well. Um, now the first thing I spot is the whole swarm of choppers. They're doing an airborne assault all the way over into Echo and Hotel as well. Um, lots and lots. I've just, I was a little bit careful with my cooler and my K52. Push my MI24V forward first to try and take some shots uh, but they do have a Lynx 3, which gets some shots off on my Mi-24V here. And it takes a shot in the face, which gets it d damaged, but does manage to take out their Lynx 3 there and get some shots off now on their other choppers. I've got some choppers here, bringing in some AA and some anti-GM units, which I try to land as quickly as I can, because these AA units are needed against all these units by a coolers now firing. But they do unload these RBSs from their choppers, uh, which managed to get some shots off. My KA-52 is getting a little bit too close to comfort with these RBSs, but it was too late to actually pull these KA-52s back. As v Turkin brings over his anti-air choppers to help me out a little bit on this side. My KA-52 does survive. I'm keeping my cooler back a little bit. It's worth a lot of points. And my choppers are trying to land still. I managed to get my AA units out, luckily, so they can't bring their stuff forward too much. As v Turkin tries to do a job there. Meanwhile, his infantry in the middle have managed to unload. There's a lot of stuff coming across the bridge, including these Super 60s and the Bradleys. which has got to be really careful. He's just got these cheap trucks with his infantry in in the middle as um, my conkers start to open up on a couple of their trucks or is it yep it's the conkers opening up i try to bring my strellas forward as well i've managed to save my cooler and my k52 and i'm trying to bring forward my infantry and my burratinos into the battle meanwhile on the right i will speed it up shortly Silver Raptor is going forward. He did have a whole load of units that he spotted. He's managed to unload his crews in his Mi-24Ds with deflator cross missiles. It looks like they've been shooting away at something or other. And he's managed to get his... He's lost one infantry squad, but he's got another infantry squad and a T-62M1. He's lacking a bit of AA up there at the moment as he tries to keep the pressure on Alpha. V Turkin is in a little bit of trouble in the middle here. They've unloaded a bunch of riflemen now up against his Yukiondes with support from Zippos and little trucks and everything. So they're going to get taken out and his recon's going to get taken out. He's got to be really careful as well with his T90S, which is trying its best to support his infantry. Um, and he's got an MI8 at the back there, which will help a little bit, but will soon run out of rockets, one would expect. And meanwhile, on the right-hand side, I try to get forward with my Strellas just to try and pick off a couple more of the choppers. And I try to bring my Burratino into range. I know they've landed all their infantry over here. And I try to bring my infantry in as well. And v Turkin has got... Well, unfortunately, he's lost all his units in the middle. He's got to be careful that he doesn't lose his T90 as well as it starts to get hammered. And he pulls it back just in time. Wow! Okay, yeah, just in time as uh, the place gets absolutely... In fact, they probably did him a favour there 
by um, flaming that area because it stopped his T60, T90 getting, getting uh, targeted by their tanks and Bradleys as their Bradleys chase after that wounded T90. Meanwhile, I've got my Pakotas unloaded, 60 of them, a lot of them. I'm just trying to get them in these buildings to try to engage the infantry that they have definitely put in. You can see a flash of SAS there. So again, I've got to be very careful with my choppers. I have managed to lose my Akula somewhere, probably to some of those SAS squads. As you can see, something just went into that building there. And they're trying to micro their links round with machine gun to support here probably knowing that I am now out of AA apart from my KA-52 that's sitting at the back there. And in the meantime, Silver Raptor's managed to get his infantry squad, his motor stroke, is into this building and he's got his T-62 sat nicely here to support his motor strokes and he's got his Spetsnaz Grus providing him with a nice bit of recon and he can see all of their units. So he's in a nice position actually here and he can he's got his BMD BMD2 uh, as well getting into position to get us some support on Charlie so he's done really well on the right he's managed to push up right into Alpha which kind of stops them getting Alpha and getting the points for Alpha but uh, again he, we need points to reinforce this area uh, in the middle we're in trouble uh, and on the right because I lost a lot of units uh, managed to get my Pakotas over here to engage their infantry at least uh, do them a bit of a battle here however V Turkin has pretty much we've pretty much lost this area in the middle he did try and help me with his choppers of course and uh, the biggest problem for me now is going to be reinforcing this area because this road is not going to be safe at the moment along here um, so we need to secure that road I can bring in uh, infantry by chopper but my ground infantry are going to have problems getting around remember I'm playing my more specialized deck which is basically bait around tanks and I'm going to be having to fight an infantry battle which is not good in the meantime the enemy here are starting to try and push back at Silver Raptor and are attacking his motor stroke he, he's getting some nice support here with his from his T62 but it is getting damaged quite a lot from these I'm not sure what's attacking them is it this KV it might be these guys but he's actually managed to lose that now he's bringing forward his MI 24 V with its little rocket pods just to try and engage got to be careful of these Hawks over on this side um, although the range against choppers isn't massive so it should be okay uh, get some shots off on the infantry brings forward his T80s and another T62 M1 takes that little truck of death there and his infantry are engaging with their his infantry recon now engaging with their infantry recon which is an interesting little battle as his t80 uh, manages to take out a few more units or at least stun them and he's got another tank there so he's not doing too badly managing to hold his own uh, v turkin has managed to bring forward a few units some recon but you can see they've got infantry in these buildings which is really bad for me because I need to get my infantry across here my Pakotas have engaged their Gurkhas they've also got SAS There's a lot of Pakotas here they're pretty decent in uh, buildings they've got squads of 15 and close quarters combat machine guns my Iglas here which I managed to bring across in the MI 8T is uh, managing to keep their choppers at bay from supporting their Gurkhas in here as they bring forward, uh, try to bring forward a chopper, but that gets taken out by my Iglas. So I've got some Iglas, I've got some infantry managing to uh, keep them engaged. Although, again, the problem for me is getting reinforcements, getting more Pakotas across um, because they've got infantry in here now. So I'm having to divert my attention a little bit more towards the middle, and I'm going to have to try to secure this area before I can bring my reinforcements across in trucks as I bring in some more infantry and a UAZ to try to get control of Echo and I brought some Strellas in as well and on the right hand side Silver Raptor is still doing battle in Alpha which is good because it, although he's losing a quite a lot of units the enemy is losing a few as well and they are having trouble securing Alpha at the moment the enemy is has got however a pretty substantial lead all the, and uh, yeah, although we've got slightly more regions than them at the moment, one more region. So in the meantime, so over on this side, my Pakotas are doing as well as they can. They've encountered some assault pioneers, but we should be able to deal them, deal with them as we're 
very much outnumber them. I bring in my KA-52 a little bit too close as the SAS sitting here get a rocket off and unfortunately take down my KA-52. That was a bit too bold of me. My Iglers are pretty much out of ammo. I've used up eight of their Igler missiles. So I'm pulling them back. And in order to reinforce them, I'm going to have to pull them all the way back across the bridge and bring in a chopper because that's the only way really to, reinforce, to, to get them buffed up as I bring in some more infantry which I'm actually going to try and get over onto the left hand side and try and get something into these buildings over here um, I'm also need to get these Pakotas back and um, repaired as well in the middle I have managed to drop off some more Pakotas in the buildings here and the reason for that is just to secure as the V-Turkin is managing to make a bit of a comeback here I spot these marines here, so I just move my Pakotas forward a little bit and I'll move them forward again just to try and engage these marines and give him a bit of support. As you can see, they'll go forward into the building, try to attack these marines. They've got a Bradley sitting here, which does get some shots off on my Pakotas, unfortunately. But then I managed to get them into the buildings. Um, so we should be able to push these marines back. Well, they've got nice support from these Bradleys, which will do my Pakotas a bit of damage or, and stun them up a little bit. They've got some more riflemen here. got some twin Hueys giving support to their marines as well. But once we get rid of these marines, at least I'll have control of this road and be able to bring in some more reinforcements. I'm bringing my Strellas up a little bit to try and help me out over here. I've brought some more Pakotas in. So I've got a strength of 40 squads, 40 people here. I've got 30 more here. And I've got some more AA Iglers at the back that I managed to unload and I'll be able to use them for a bit of support as well and bring those back for some um, well-needed R&R. Now, meanwhile, over on the right-hand side, unfortunately, despite doing a good job and keeping them busy in Alpha for quite a long time, Silver Raptor's been pushed back over the bridge and he's setting up some defences. He's got some more Spetsnaz Gru infantry out here for a bit of recon uh, in these... In these Brought them out. I think he brought them out in these BTR 90s this time with his his uh, the frag grenades, which he, his beloved frag grenade, which he likes to use so much, and a little gun on there as well. Not a bad little unit for just 25 points. Keeping that, an eye on that bridge there. He's brought forward a Tunguska as well with its radar turned off just to protect. And he's got his MI24Ds that he's experimenting with at the moment. Gets a shot at this, uh, this tank over here and manages to take that out. Was it an armored vehicle? I'm not sure. And he's got his KA-52 keeping an eye on stuff and he's bringing forward some more infantry. Now on this side, it's as you were, um, they are bringing forward more infantry if I remember rightly, but I'm just getting my Iglers up here and I'll push them Pakotas forwards as I bring my Iglers into the back building over here. Now over here they've got a lot of units in here, they're bringing forward infantry. There was a lot of infantry battles going on in this um, particular uh, war game battle as you'll see um, shortly. And I bring some Iglers over here this side as well just to keep their choppers and stuff at bay. And I'm bringing in some logistics trucks to buff up my units over here. I get a move back. Just to, That's just warning me about my trucks here because they're going to get targeted. There must be something over in the building. I bring in a Burrotino. I saw them put infantry in here so I just hammer that area with my Burrotino. And Silver Raptor continues to build a nice defensive line over here in Charlie. He's bringing up one of his T-80As with a nice ATGM missiles to put into the tree line as well. It's KA-50. Oh, that's his uh, little attack chopper up there. The MI-24D. And he's bringing in another tank there as well. So it looks like they brought in, I'm not sure what they attacked with there, might have been a bomber or something, but they now start to bring in their artillery, which is a pain to me for the whole of the rest of the game. So, so I am trying to push forward here with my infantry. He's brought in Gurkhas, which are quite decent. I think they've got close quarters machine guns as well, although not as many squads. But what they do have is a lot of artillery support, which you will soon see. And I do actually manage to take down a couple of squads there. These Pakotas are doing really well. My biggest problem is it takes me quite a long time to get my reinforcements up. As they now bring in, um, I'm not sure what's this. Woo, missed it. A bomber. Oh, it's a Draken. Going to have a go at my Pakotas. It's a nice move. I do get some shots off of my Iglers, but don't manage to take it out. But they actually managed to drop a bomb on top of my Pakotas and take them down to two. And my other Pakotas are on 27. I pull these ones back just to try to save what's left. 
And these Pakotas are having to hold off here. They're going to lose against these squads of Gurkhas and Pioneers in combo, which is a really, really nice little combo there. So I probably, I hope at least, that I managed to pull these back. In fact, I'm pushing them forward for some reason. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. So, oh, they're, they're running away from the actual flames, so I might lose these. They're running away from the flames, from the pioneers. They're now stunned, so we're in trouble there a little bit as he brings in an S70, uh, which my Iglers managed to take out, and the Pakotas getting a hammering at the moment. Now, I have managed to uh, get some more Pakotas over here, which I don't know whether I dropped them out of the MI-8 or no, I've actually brought them back and they've got uh, resupplied by these resupply trucks and I'm bringing them back into the field. Um, there's an RBS-70 there as well firing. Uh, v Turkin has managed to uh, get some units back on the field and he's starting to kind of, well, at least put a defensive line up before he tries to push forward. And he's bringing in some little trucks here to help me out over here a little bit as well. I've brought in a Tunguska and Silver Raptor. Well, I think he's got this area fairly locked down now. They're not going to push across there anytime soon. He's got a Sturm in there as well. These nice ATGM vehicles that he's got in his generalized uh, Soviet deck. So it's all looking good. He's also brought in a T-72BU, which... Uh, I don't know if the enemy can see that because it's not flashing. Oh, actually, is that Vita? No, it is Silver Raptor. And it uh, looks like he's going to start helping out maybe over here. He's just he's just keeping this area secure with his KA-50. More of his uh, Spetsnaz Grus, I expect. Yeah. Uh, oh, VMFs over this time. The Sniper sniper uh, re Recon in a KA-29 again. Another attack another um, attack job with his nice rocket pods. Now, I'm getting... I brought my Pecotas forward. And you can see I'm... All my battling is just for these little buildings here, and it's really difficult because I'm kind of stuck right on the edge here as V Turkin brings in a bomber to bomb the Gurkhas, which just, well, does a bit of damage to the front squad. He's also brought in some more infantry to help me out. Some Nijuans. And my Pakotas are taking a hammering. I do get some MI8s there to manage to get some shots off on his Pioneers, which helps a little bit. And his Pioneers are at range at this stage, so my Pakotas can deal with them while they're at range. There's a little truck here, and hopefully we'll be able to get an RPG. No, it's not firing its RPG. And I've got some more units coming across here, which I managed to unload. There's a Scorpion tank there, actually. A little Scorpion tank. I just need to get my coaters forward as I bring my little trucks forward to try and offer a little bit of support and my Iglers fire at these S70s. Managed to take them down. I've lost, looks like, did I lose a Pakota squad there? The Liege ones saved me a little bit in the middle from v Turkin, and my, I can bring these trucks forward against the Salt Pioneers because the Salt Pioneers haven't got any RPGs. Managed to take them forward and then as v Turkin runs into these uh, RBS's which hopefully he'll be able to take out as another Draken comes in with another bombing run and just hits right behind when I'm bringing in my squad of Pakotas and just hammers them down to next to nothing. I had a full squad of Pakotas there just took a ha just took a bomb in the face and I'm gonna have to pull them back but I have managed to bring some more in and I brought in a BMPT to fight their infantry as well as it goes across the bridge to help reinforce the front lines so I've got more infantry there, I've got my BMPT, they're bringing in more infantry and I'm still trying to scramble and trying to get hold, get a good foothold as they've got some SAS fighting the Lijuans now and they're trying to bring these choppers forward to support and land more infantry as well. Meanwhile on this side they're, they're still reinforcing this area. I have got my Buratino reloaded ready for another barrage as Silver Raptor now is actually crossing the bridge here with his um, little um some infantry used in their amphibious using an amphibious assault across it's all going off in this battle i just can't keep up as he pushes his k52 managed to get taken out looks like they've got some uh man pads there take out his k52 <coughs> so he bring takes his other chopper back he's got a tata and some strellers coming in so he's got nice control on the right he's even got some spetsnaz grooves over here and a k52 on the water and he's going to start supporting us in the middle a bit as on the right left hand side I continue bringing some more Pakotas, some, I've got some fresh ones here as I take back the 
devastated ones to try and get them resupplied um, and I do need to bring I can't bring my resupply over this area because I am getting mortared all the time at the moment as well as you can see by these big craters and if I bring my resupply trucks over they're just going to mortar them so I'm having to take everything back across the bridge to get resupplied there's a car who coming round sneaking round on the right left hand side is going to come in for a run probably is he Oh no, he's just circling, waiting for me to bring a tank in and get that destroyed, probably. Um, Silver Raptor, though, has pushed across the bridge and he's got his MILB here, LBV, and there's a hawk sitting there. Unfortunately, this can't attack the hawk, but um, we can see it sitting there and he's got his motor strelke in the trees as well. Um, and he's bringing up some more recon. He's got his BU now positioned in the trees. It's probably a better position than over here. Just keeping an eye on that bridge. And I continue with my Pakotas. Come up against Highlanders now. Highlanders, not too shabby. Not the best infantry in the world, but they are decent. And they've got the... Well, they're good against Pakotas. Both probably, probably fairly evenly matched. They're on, what, 20, 30 now. We've got 25 left, so we we'll probably lose that one. So I'll just pull back a little bit, but we've got Gurkha 90s, 30 more of them encroaching on our position. So I have to pull back my Iglers because they'll get destroyed by these Gurkhas. And I tried to bring forward my little trucks, but these Gurkhas have got ATG and really nice um, law missiles, which can easily take out my little trucks. So I've got to be a bit careful. I do bring forward a chopper with rocket pods just to try and keep those Gurkhas at bay a little bit on the left hand side. As Silveraptor uses his amphibious assault and amphibious vehicles to get across the river again into the tree line. Um, so he's putting pressure on over here in the middle by attacking into the tree line, getting some recon in there now to see what they've got. They've actually got a Fennec Ito, and it actually gives a bit of support across onto these light riflemen. He manages to unload just in time as these light riflemen take shots at his BTR 90 there. It's, no. Of course, it's got his frag grenades. I continue here. I'm getting pushed back a bit now. I've got a truck here with AA infantry in, just trying to support, but get one taken out there immediately. Uh, I need to unload that as quickly as possible. There's a Fennec I Tow 2 over on the right there, trying to come forward to attack my tr trucks, but I lose out there. My Iglers are out of ammo here as my BTRs come across the bridge and get attacked by the Ito. Uh, I'm bringing some Strellas in as well, just in time to try and keep their choppers at bay a little bit. Um, managed to unload my BTRs here. I bring in an IL-102 to try to bomb the hell and slow them down. And I'll immediately get it taken out by this F-16 with its Amran missiles. So a bit of a loss there for me. I did manage to... If I, if I hadn't brought it in, I would have lost this area completely. So by bringing it in, I did manage to kind of keep the battle going on over in this area although I did lose a big plane in the process and you can see the enemy still got the lead there because of that I do manage this time though to bring in some Spetsnaz and some Spetsnaz hopefully as long as they don't get artillery to death because I am as you can see taking artillery all the time over here which is a real pain if these Spetsnaz can survive they can push their infantry back if they can get close enough to use their napalm launchers Silver Raptor however as Still heading off into the middle. He's got his Spetsnaz Grus in here now, which has got their nice heat missiles. But they are responding to his presence in the trees. They're pushing in some infantry against his motor strelke. He's got his BTRs in support against these Dragoners, which have been stunned by the, yes, the frag grenade of the BTR 90s. So they pull them back and push in their little trucks of death. But he's got his Spetsnaz Grus coming up to give his motor strelkes a bit of a hand. Um, they are sending in a Dragon Bomber to try and deal with uh, Silver Raptor's push forward. Did it drop? Did it drop its bombs? I don't think it even dropped its bombs. Um, so the Frag Grenades managed to take out this unit here and this Fennec Ito's in trouble as well if it doesn't get out. That BTR-90 doing some serious damage over on the edge of the trees. Is it going to take out that Tow 2? Is the Tow 2 going to get a shot off? No, it's been stunned. It's been stunned by the BTR. So this BTR is uh, doing a lot of damage over there in the middle beyond the trees and holding them back. 
putting the pressure on them, which is good. Now, my Spetsnaz, although they've managed to do the enemy, well, keep the enemy engaged here, they are down to two health now, so they're going to get taken out. I bring in some more infantry, which I immediately get targeted. They've now got some ATGM units in these buildings over on the left. I managed to just about get 40 more Spetsnaz into these buildings just to keep up the pressure. There's an F-11C flying around, dropping bombs everywhere now. They, try, they do try to push over onto this bridge, but um, V-Turkin's got that covered with some Yokides here, in two sets of them in fact, in these buildings. So they should be able to hold back those units. He's bringing up his T-90 to help out as well. I don't think they've got any ATGM units over here. Um, I've got more Pakotas, more Pakotas, and Pakotas all the time. All, all the time I'm really trying to get my units healthed up back here in this tree line and then send them back onto the battlefield. It really is difficult on this side just to try and hold on to this little area. In retrospect, I might have been better just to pull back across the river here and attack into the middle. Um, but yeah, that's in retrospect. That's what war games all about, isn't it? What you could have done, what you didn't do properly. Meanwhile, Silver Raptors still pushing forward in the middle. This BTR-90 is still just about alive. It's killing a lot of stuff. Now, they've brought in some little M4 AGS tanks to try and deal with him very poor armor though um, so I'm not sure how well they're gonna do 50 points a piece as well he's brought in some iglers here to deal with the bombing runs he's been taking in the middle and some in the in his shrezets um, in the middle here we're getting bombed it looks like his the yoki days are gonna get a bomb in the face by the looks of it yeah oh it's the napalm uh, Seem to deal with the napalm okay, just manages to micro them out. But he stopped the push across the bridge. I've managed to get some more units forward. So now I've got some Spetsnaz and some Pakotas here. The Pakotas will, will hopefully deal with these Scorpion 90s so I can bring my Spetsnaz forward. He's also got Assault Pioneers and Gurkhas. I just need to bring my Spetsnaz forward and get rid of this Scorpion tank and replace my Pakotas with Spetsnaz to try to deal with his infantry. Should be able to deal with his pioneers now. Oh, although there's 38 of them. So, yep. Yeah. And he's got his infantry here. My Spetsnaz have been stunned. I need to get them firing off their napalm, really. As I'm not sure what I'm doing, whether I'm microing them backwards or forwards or what. I've got more Pakotas in the background here. So, managing to keep up the pressure there. A couple of SU-27S's there going in, loses one. So Silver Raptor still holding in the middle, using his Shrejet against their planes that are continually harassing v Turkin in the middle here. The artillery is continually to harass me on the left-hand side, believe me, although I'm not showing it all. My Spetsnaz keep getting stunned, they just can't get their napalm launcher. Uh, into effect as another bomber comes in shoots just behind my Spetsnaz oh, and just lands perfectly actually against my Pakotas and just stuns L all my infantry in these buildings on the edge here as these Pakotas are getting buffed up a little bit another bomber a Dragon WNDNS this time comes in is it going to drop on the same place yeah he's stunned them now he's going in for the bombs and yeah, I've been absolutely hammered there by their bombers on the edge of the building. But I'm bringing in more. Got more Pakotas coming forward to replace the ones that have been destroyed or nearly destroyed. And basically, it's a good job I kept resupplying my infantry. Otherwise, I would have easily have run out by now. Now, there's a couple of Abrams now assaulting um, Silver Raptor in the middle. I'm not sure what he's got to deal with. I mean, he's bringing more units in. He's bringing more infantry. He's got his T-80A back here, attacking these Stormers in the building, and he's bringing a T-62M1 up as well, just to support. And looks like they're not going to. They're not chancing these two Abrams into the forest. They're just sitting them there, but they are bringing bombers forward. As his Shrezets have a go at those at least uh, more napalm more napalm but he has got more infantry coming in to replace the damaged infantry and he's got this t62 here I'm not sure what he's firing at is it firing at the zippos or the nm 112s one or other nothing is happening on the right by the way in case you wondered it's all quiet over there it's all happening in the middle and on the left here 
with BM24 firing away. Oh, by the way, I did bring in my Buratinos during this game, but unfortunately, I kind of lost them. Not sure where. But, as you can see, I'm really struggling again on the left-hand side to get my units into these buildings. I've got some more. Uh, that little scorpion tank, they've got a Lynx, 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 a Lynx Toe 2 over there, which is attacking my trucks as I try to bring them forward. Just need to try and get them into these buildings. I've got some Pakotas there. I've got some Spetsnaz that get taken out. I'll bring forward my Rocket Quad Helis just to try and deal with these Assault Pioneers that are being a pain to my Pakotas. Managing to get, they managed to get a couple of shots off, uh, but those ATGMs just managed to put my BTRs as well and send some rockets across. As I bring in my other MI8Ts, just need to get rid of these pioneers, and then my Pakotas can go to work on the Scorpion there. But I'm getting a bit thin on the ground with the infantry in the middle again. Silver Raptors are still pushing forward. They're actually pushing some Marines in against him now, but he's got these trucks that he's trying to support with. He's got his MT LBVs. He hasn't got his he hasn't got his grenade launchers this time to stun the Marines. Um, he's getting he's a bit under pressure here. He's got the Zippos coming in against him. He's got the Marines coming in against him. He's bringing forward now his BTR 90s with their frag grenades to try and stun hopefully stun these Marines. And he's bringing forward some more Pakotas as well to uh, help out. And he's got his Iglas sitting back there. So they are responding to his presence in the middle here. And he's just trying to bring these BTRs down. The BTRs now can open up against the Marines. Immediately stun the Marines with the frag grenade. Which means the rest of his infantry aren't going to get destroyed. And he should manage to take out those Marines now. Which is very nice. He's got these Pakotas. A couple of squads of Pakotas here can finish these Marines off. Which um, is nicely done and keeps him in those buildings there in the tree line there um, rather now I've, you can see I've been I've been napalmed again on the left hand side it's the same story I get some, some infantry forward into the buildings I get artillery and I get napalmed and bombed back out again but I've got more coming in I've got them <laughs> resupplied again I've got some more resupplied here ready to go in I've brought some Nona's in now which I'm hoping will help me out a little bit and provide just me with a little bit of artillery support as I'm bringing some Strellas across and a Tunguska to try and fight off their continued bombing runs. There's a Puff coming in, so I can expect uh, an attack here. There's this Harrier coming along the back here as well with Steed missiles. It's probably after my Tunguska, which I have turned off the radar gun, so it should be fairly safe. And I've managed to get some more Pakotas forward to keep their infantry engaged. Silver Raptor's still in the middle. He's getting bombed as well. The enemy are still in the lead with just 10 minutes to go. So it's a really close battle. They are a good team on the other side, it seems, using their planes and their artillery really well. Although I do manage to take out that 120-point Harrier, which puts us kind of on equal terms with them now as the artillery keeps coming in. You can see... Really powerful artillery taking out my infantry. Now I'm fed up of this ATGM unit here in this building because I want to try and get around them a little bit because I'm not going to push through here now with my Buratinos destroyed at some point in this battle. There's a Skyhawk comes in though and it's going to target my Tunguska and it's a nice move with its Maverick missiles. Takes out my AA unit as v Turkin is that... Oh, Silver Raptor brings in MI-29 and manages to take that out for me. So nice there from Silver Raptor as well. And his units are still there in the middle, hassling them. He's still got this BTR-90 in the middle as well. More bombs coming in. This time it looks like they're going for the Yokodays again against uh, v Turkin and an MLU. What's that going to attack? Is it attacking my Shreznets? Um, I think it misses this time. That's my Shreznets here. Have a go at it. This CF-104, is it going to go down? Well, I don't know how that survived. I don't know. Maybe it got destroyed. Didn't see. Anyway, they put in more of these cheap Scorpion 90s here. Don't see them on the battlefield very often. They're not very expensive, but he's bringing in quite a few of them. He's using them more as infantry supporters, really, as than tanks in their own right. But they bump up against my Shreznets, but they're going to get hopefully taken out by my Pakotas. Hopefully. As I start firing my Nonas into these buildings, I really I've brought in some VDVs now to try and get take control of these buildings. 
Yeah, I managed to take out that scorpion tank. They've got some more pioneers, but they're firing at range, so they can't use their um, napalm launcher. So we should be able to get rid of these assault pioneers. I've got my VDVs into position now in the buildings. And sh there should be enough of them. Got the Pakota still. Pakotas have been stunned, though, unfortunately. Hopefully we can... Oh, and there's a gunships. There's some gu couple of gunships attacking the VDVs. So the Shreznet, Shrezets are getting some shots off on those gunships. Take one down as we take down. I think that was the Gurkhas went down. The artillery is coming in again. There's a CF-104. Is that more napalm coming in right on top of our units? Bomber. Shreznets are taking shots there. These Shreznets managed to take it out for 65 points. Just the assault engineers left. The, art oh, the artillery is still coming in. But it's just uh, hitting behind our VDVs now. And just stop firing for some reason. They lost line of sight. So need to move them forward. In the meantime, Silver Raptor is being attacked by riflemen now, but should be able to deal with them. He's got lots of infantry in here. He's got support from these guys as well. The Harriers still flying around in the background there, wait, just waiting something to shoot at i've managed to get some strellas across though all the way across here and i'm just trying to get my shreznets into the trees with my vdvs there's a fennec tow 2 which is just out of range of the shreznets although they've just come into range now it's a harrier gr7 attacking is it my strellas yeah taken out and the harrier takes out my tunguska so a nice double aa take out there by the enemy with those harriers really nice as my shreznets Still trying to chase down those Toe 2s. Managed to get my VDVs and my Shreddex over onto the left hand side here though. Want to really try to assault these buildings. They've got some cheap tanks they've brought in as well. And my VDVs still trying to get rid of these assault pioneers in the middle of that. More infantry they're bringing in in these cheap trucks. I'm not sure. Silver Raptor's managed to fight off that uh, last assault into the trees here in the middle. And he's got a nice fresh lot of motor strelki in there as well. Looks like an ATGM in the building there. Finally got rid of those assault engineers. Now we've got these tanks attacking us and these mini little trucks. There's no infantry in by the looks of them, just some trucks they're sending forward. Although they won't be able to take on these VDVs, I wouldn't have thought. VDVs should take out those little trucks nice and easy. Um, in the meantime, what's happening over here? I've got some nearly dead VDVs. I've got one Nona left. It's pretty... Just get, got hit by artillery as well, so that's pretty useless. Didn't really look after my artillery in this game. Lost both my Buratinos and three of my Nonas. The other one's pretty useless. Silver Raptor's kind of just micring around there, trying to keep out of the way of their artillery and bombers. He's managed to get a BTR all the way up here, which is kind of going on the rampage a little bit. Sorry if I missed that. It's right up in up in their base nearly. It's attacking Zippos now. It's just moving around <laughs> like a mad thing. It's a man possessed in the uh, turret of that uh, BTR. Just kind of flying around, making the enemy's life a misery, and now hides it hides itself in the trees. So yeah, interesting. Oh, now it's attacking an Apache. Who's going to win? BTR-90 or Apache? Apache's got it. Oh, went down eventually. What a shame. That was a bit, that was quite amusing. Anyway, back to uh, the left-hand side. VDVs against more infantry that brought in. Dragoners, not the best infantry. Should be able to take those out of my remaining VDVs there. Super 60s, have, looks like they've taken a cluster bomb in the face there. And some artillery coming in as well. Bucks being artillery, Silver Raptor's Bucks, he's got a couple of Bucks here. They've obviously done a good job because they're out of ammo. But um, being targeted, I've brought in another Tunguska. I've brought in three Strellas and a couple of T-80Us as well, which I was thinking of using to try and flank once I've got these buildings, but I've got to get these buildings first before I can chance using those because I've got 80 GMs in those buildings. I've also bought in some little uh, logistics trucks. These are amphibious. My nice flexible 
resupply trucks don't carry a lot of supply but they are very very flexible can travel across water and they're going to go across and hopefully help out help out silver raptor in the trees you can see they're bringing in more infantry um, bringing out their bombers yet again Gone a little bit quiet not too much engagements going on not sure what this plane's attacking Ah, oh, it thinks I'm moving my... yeah, it's just bombing over here. Yeah, it's just stopping me moving across. And you can see the ATGM unit shoots one of my shrezettes down as well. Need to try and get into those buildings if I can. <coughs> so my VDVs still sit there. I, don't th I think I actually almost run out of infantry in this battle, which is why I haven't brought a lot more in. This was meant to be my generalised deck, but it ended up being my specialised deck, and um, I've kind of run out of infantry a little bit. Still flying those Harriers around, being a pain. Now, I have managed to bring forward my resupply, and we're going to send that across the water to resupply Silver Raptors units. Hopefully, they'll turn right. Yep, there they go. But they are bringing in some planes. There's a carrier GR3 with its rocket pods. I'm bringing forward some ATGM units of my own over there. It's, I think it's attacking my resupply. Is it? It is indeed attacking my resupply. And gets taken out for its problems, for its trouble. Managed to take two out, but I managed to get six across the water to resupply his Iglers and the rest of his units there. Looks like there's a bit of an assault going on here. They're sending forward their marines to try and assault this area over here with some twin Hueys in the background for a bit of support. But I think we should have enough. We've got, well, maybe we've got Pakotas, a couple of squads of Yokides here. Hopefully we can deal with this attack from the marines. And I've managed to get my ATGMs across the river. There is a unit there I could do with taking down. I've got my Strellas in the background here. I've still got my T-80Us but I'm not going to... I think I decided at this stage with just a few seconds left not to chance my T-80Us but they are chancing their arm by moving their Marines across. Nothing else attacking over here. Managed to resupply Silver Raptors units in the middle. They've brought some Volskim Yaga 90s forward to attack my VDVs. These are really nice infantry this time. With their close quarters machine gun and their Eryxes. But as an SU 24V bomber comes in from Silver Raptor, drops a bomb right on top of them. It's excellent, and I managed to get my VDVs out. And a B5 from V Turkin as well goes in. They've got the Eurofighter Typhoon. Which, why isn't it attacking the bomber? I'm not sure what happened there. Marines have made their way across the bridge. They're uh, start, starting to engage our Pakotas and the Yokides. They've managed to get one some riflemen in here as well. But we've taken out the Marines with all these three sets of units firing against them. And uh, that's it. The game ended. Time ran out. But really, really nice game. Really close all the way through. In retrospect, should I have pulled back across the river? But then we would have lost the initiative. Um, so I think I did the right thing to just keep pushing on. I did get a negative score in the end because I lost so much. I lost that Akula and that K52 at the start. I lost two Buratinos. I lost my Nonas. Um, units I really shouldn't have lost, but the infantry losses couldn't really be helped. I did try to resupply the infantry as much as I could. I did lose a lot of infantry as well, though. Silver Raptor did really well with his BTR 90s in the middle there, shooting basically frag grenading everything. Uh, managing to take the, the initiative at the start in Alpha, then pull back, put a defensive line up, and then helped attack v, with V-Turkin into the middle, getting across into those trees. V-Turkin did really well as well. Well, it did really well kind of after the start. It got a bit overrun at the start, lost pretty much everything apart from his T-90S, but then came back, managed to retake most of the ground that he lost, and I was just continually getting harassed and attacked with napalm bombers and artillery on the left, but managed to keep the pressure on on that left side as well which just about scraped us a minor victory in this battle so thanks for watching guys please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and check out those um, deck building videos if you're interested in having a look at what we have used in this game so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one